Hello, what's up guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kenneth. This is Basic Home Remedy. On here, we give well-researched health, beauty, and fitness tips. Okay, this is a, your, your one stop to your home remedies to illness and diseases. Today we'll be looking at, by the way, if today is your first time of view my channel, I would encourage you to subscribe. Because when you do this, you'll be notified first once I upload new videos. To my returning viewers, I also encourage you to like, share, and comment on our videos. Once you do this, the YouTube algorithm tends to feel that you like our videos and they share it to other viewers. Today we'll be looking at a very you know, one of prevalent um, illness or diseases. It's called rheumatism and arthritis. This has been a very common issue among people that it, it, perhaps those of us that do some tedious job, you, you see that even those that, that sit down just like I'm sitting down now, you're a typist, even the students that you need to maintain one you know, particular direction or for a couple of hours, certainly you would feel some pains when you get up. And those that do that, that works in factory or you lift heavy objects, definitely you feel pains within your waist region. I believe some of us have, you know, you know, tried to treat it on different occasions. We've gone to the pharmacy to buy drugs. We've taken all sorts of medications, but when when the, the, the you take the medication, it tends to subsidize, and once the medication stops it returns back to its initial status. Uh, today, don't worry, we've got a solution for you and it's very cheap, very cheap and easy to get. The four items we'll be combining today are soda water, but I'm gonna be using hot water instead. You can swear well use coconut water. Coconut water or soda water or hot water. This three, you could, you could change, you could, you could use any of these three items hot water or soda water or coconut water. Now, you combine with the rest of these items I'll be calling now hot water, lime orange, ginger, and stubborn grass. The scientific name for this is cedar acuta. All right, I'll be combining these four items today for the relief and total cure to rheumatism and arthritis. All right, uh, without wasting much of our time, let's get down to work now. All right. All right, guys. This is the, the grass I was talking about. You actually have the female and the male type of this grass. And, and I beg you, once you want to go and get this grass, go in the morning, don't go in the evening. Yeah, that's such a, there's some reasons for that, okay? Go in the morning, not in the evening when the grass is sleeping. I, I believe that, that might sound weird, but it, it, it's true. This creature sleeps at night and you shouldn't go when they are sleeping. Go in the morning, please, for topmost function. For it to function properly, go in the morning, alright? Now, I'll be washing it with some salt. Okay, it's important to do that to clear off some germs, alright? This is my salt, table salt. Take your time to wash it properly. Cedar Akuta, better known as stubborn grass down here, is very effective, not just for rheumatism and arthritis. It's effective for treating, treating um, 
uh, uh, what's it called? Infection. Severe infections. Get it off with this. Of course, with a combination of other items. It's also good for insomnia. If you find it very hard to sleep, this will do the magic for you. Okay, but I will be doing a video soonest in regards of that. For now, let's concentrate on this. Now I'm plucking off the, the leaves. As you can see, I'm plucking it off. Plucking it off. Plucking it off. Okay, now we we'll need to get the ginger. If you want to take this immediately, once you are done, that means you need to pound these leaves. You need to pound it, you know, pound it properly, make sure it's smooth, then you as well pound, or whichever way you could get the juice of this ginger, whichever way you can do that, then you can go ahead and have it immediately. But if you can't do that. That means um, once you are done, just the way I'm doing now, you will leave it for 24 hours, if possible, 48 hours. But minimum should be 24 hours. Once it clocks 24 hours, you you know sieve off the the chaff and get the water, you know, or the tea if you like. Once you do that, you can start drinking. Okay trying to hurry up for the sake of this tutorial okay
think this my knife is a bit blunt. I need to sharpen it. Okay. So we'll go for the lime orange now. The lime orange, you need to cut it into pieces, all right? Okay. You should be careful while doing this so you don't hurt yourself. You could use the squeezer, but I think um, since I'm leaving this to tomorrow, I'm gonna just make do of this. So you can use the lime orange squeezer to get the juice off it. Okay. Can see what it looks like. Now we'll be getting the hot water. Oops. Right. So here we go. I'll be leaving this to tomorrow. I'm leaving this to tomorrow. Hopefully by this time tomorrow. So here we go. This is just like you know, just like a normal tea, all right? But this is Harbour One for rheumatism and arthritis. If you like this video, like it, comment, and share with a loved one. And if you've not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Very important. So you wouldn't miss any of our new videos. All right, bye-bye. Stay blessed.